Okay, we just, uh, this is a uh, post uh, wreck. We fixed the, got the new propellers in from Amazon and the new landing gear. And we're all excited because we're going to go venture in the clear blue sky. Brandon's getting everything prepped. <coughs> He, uh, he, this time he says he calibrated the compass. Wait for the GPS? No, the compass is right there. And, uh, I don't know if that's the right color. What? I guess we'll see if it takes off back to the apartments again. Oh, this time I am not drinking wine, so I could go over there and get it. Because, uh, boy, he took off fast after uh, it took off that way. I think he uh, beat it to the scene of the crash. Wow, it's taking forever to come back. Oh, it's just looking out for G GPS signals. Yeah. Maybe there's no satellites. All the satellites fail. That's why your uh, your your uh, quad took off to the apartments because there was no satellites. They all fell. It did. Per it did perfect. Yes, I mean today. There, there it go. goes. I just need to turn on this. Now, now we're uh, pairing the uh, there you go. remote. See how fast that is? Yeah. Here we go. And I have lost Wi-Fi signal at 20 feet. Wow, I need to uh, calibrate it. I mean, I got the controller. Oh, there goes the wind. This... Why, don't you, why don't you face us, Bradman? To twist it? Whoa! See that it's not controlling that good right now. Because I was trying to control. Did you change the batteries? Yeah. That was a heck of a landing. I know. Hey, it bounced. Yes, I saw it bounce. Did you see it not responding that good? What's going on? I don't know. Because that, because that's how it was when it crashed. It wasn't responding that good. I was trying to bring it back. Can you see how it was sort of like that, drifting? Drifting? Yeah, no. drifting. I don't. Did you change out the batteries in your remote? Yeah. Well, then it will have auto load. Okay. So you're going to try again? I'm going to fly above. You connecting again? It's not responding that fast. Okay, I have a Wi-Fi signal again. Wi-Fi signal doesn't last very long. There, it's connected. All right, now it's responding. Uh -oh. It's not responding. What's well, not responding? I like the controls. Can you do you fly? No, see, feel it. It's not responding that good. Okay. You put your hand over it. Stay low. Oh, I'm blocking it. I can't fly this. So I can't fly with the crap. That was terrible. I know. But I'm not... did you see how the controls were lagging? Uh uh. Did it? No, I just know I can't fly it. That was a terrible takeoff. Try again, and uh, if it work, does this again, 
we will uh, Google why it's uh, stay alone. why it's uh, poor response. And you've uh, connected the antennas to the legs, or are they just hanging down? They're just hanging. Right? Yeah, right. See? Got them slowly. Now, wow, turn off the seat. Did you see? Mm -mm. Here, watch this. See? It's off. Having slow response. Okay. Ow. I don't want to crash it because look. And then when I turn it down, it takes off. Right. See how slow that response is? Yeah. I don't want to fly because then I'll wreck it. That's what I was doing like yeah, when I crashed it, it wasn't responding. Show you how to calibrate your CX20 and your CX20 remote. We're going to start with the remote first. Okay, look at the remote. You want to focus on the remote there, cameraman? Okay, so we have a remote in hand. We want to switch the SB switch down to one. We want to make sure our, our uh, this is, uh, our up down is centered. Hold this up and turn your remote on. You're in calibration mode. Once you're in calibration mode, you want to take and move these to your corners five times. This calibrates how far the stick can move, or around five times. Wow, they hurt. Okay, after you've calibrated your sticks, you want to start by calibrating your auxiliary too. Start by turning it all the way to the uh, left, then turn it right, then turn it left. Then go to auxiliary one, right, left. Okay. After you get uh, your aux adjusted, go ahead and shut your remote off. You're done with the calibration on your remote. Now we're going to calibrate the GPS on the quad. To calibrate your compass on your CX20, you plug in you plug in your uh, your battery. Turn on your remote. Hold this down to the right, and you see the uh, the way our lights flashing here. You're going to look for a red yellow light. When you get that red yellow light, you're ready to start your calibration. I'm going to let my son do the GPS calibration. Should I do it right now? Do it right now. One. You're going to do five two, turns. Three. Four. Five. Point down. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you're not, you probably won't get this right the first time. After calibration is done, go ahead and unplug your uh, CX-20, turn off your remote, you should be set to fly, um, but there is likelihood that you will have to try this multiple times. Uh, this In this video, we did have multiple attempts to get the red-yellow flashing on the CX-20, but you'll get it done. Okay, calibration.
vibration, all you needed. Yeah. Now try, uh, try going out a little bit and try to return to home. Do the return home? Yeah. You know how to undo the return home when you want to turn it off, right? You want me to return home right now? Yeah. Up. Goes up. Comes over. And lands in tree or truck. Be sure to be ready to turn it off. Up, oh, it's gonna return home. There it goes. Let's see, is it landing on the tree again? You, you, are you doing this yourself? Yeah. Oh, why? Uh, because it usually comes down a little bit closer and then it picks itself. So we can't have a tree. Okay. Now try altitude hold. Altitude hold, I don't know how to do that. Right? Altitude hold is one and two. Okay. Go up higher than the trees oh, yeah. before you altitude hold. Yeah. Is that higher than the trees and the houses? Look, it's working. See? Oh, yeah. Oh, my joystick. Okay, there you have go. to center your joystick. There you go, it's centered. Is it falling? No. See? So you should be able to drive around and hold the altitude. Oh, there's mosquitoes. You should be able to drive around and hold the altitude. Yeah. Come on, whip. Mosquitoes won't hurt you. Just care. They're itchy. So is it holding altitude? Yeah. Very good? Yeah. Hey, look. There's a dragonfly or something trying to get it. Okay, try doing a 360. 360? Yeah. Why are you going down? Because I turn off altitude hold. Okay, turn it back on. I was wanting you to do a, or do a position hold. Position hold? Okay. Yeah. How do I do that? Ah, these mosquitoes are biting me. They're no, they're not. Yeah, there is. Position hold. You see how I do it? No. There's no position hold. Are GPS you? hold zero. Oh, right there. Yeah, zero and one. Zero. And Your one. radio lost signal. Ah. There you go. There you go. GPS hold. Turn on GPS hold. Okay. Okay, GPS oh. hold. Let me... Is it holding? Yeah. See? Is it moving? Uh, only up and down. Okay, now try to spin it. Spin it? Yeah, without turning off GPS hold, spin it. That's not... Did it go back? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, you didn't. No, I turned it off. Oh, why'd you turn it off, bro? I don't know. It, it freaks me out sometimes. I need more room. Freaks you out? Yeah. I need more room to fly it. Then. Okay. See if you can turn around and take a picture of us, Brian. Uh, that's hard. To spin? Yeah, because then uh, the, the things will be all up, and I'm not like that. So. Ah. Let's go inside. These mosquitoes are biting me. Oh, I will have the picture in. Uh, now what you got to do? I'm landing it. You're landing? Yeah, these mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. I ain't getting eaten by any well, mosquitoes. Well, they're coming all by them. Eat more garlic. Eat more garlic? Yeah, that's what I do. Ah. Okay. Okay, so we did the calibration. Did that work out okay? Yeah, a lot better.